Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with another Two Minute Tuesday. I'm here with Plugin Boutique, obviously. And today we're gonna to be checking out how to automate the modulation parameter inside of chords by Loop Masters. And inside of Ableton Live, if I hit A, I can see my different parameters here. And if I move, say, this resonance, you'll see that the parameter updates over here and then I can then modulate it or automate it rather with the automation lines. You can see here chord, filter, LFO type, you know, rate, phase, amount, all of these different parameters can be done. If I use the modulation over here, you'll notice that it doesn't update. That's what I'm going to show you how to do right now. So automate that. There's another way before I jump into that though to configure what is automatable because you can see here Whenever you have a large plugin like this, all of the parameters don't show up. Only what you're actually using is going to show up inside of the list right here. And that's the same inside of the configure over here inside of Ableton Live. If you hit this arrow, this little thing flies out. And if you click configure, you can then go through and just click on any parameters that you want to automate or have quick access to, and they'll populate down here. And then you can use these sliders. You can see here that the decay slider is moving the decay slider inside of the plugin itself. But again, if I hit configure and move the modulation, nothing's happening. You know, what if you want to automate that though inside of your DAW? It's a very powerful modulation control because you can route up to four different parameters from anywhere in the synth to it, and then just automate those four parameters at the same time using the modulation slider. And the way to do it is inside of the MIDI clip itself. So it's not an actual automation from the program parameter, it's inside of the MIDI clip. Inside of Ableton Live, if you click this little radial button right here, you'll get the envelopes control. And if you come into the MIDI control and come in, you'll see that number one down here is modulation. So if I take that and then add some automation lines here, and then let's open chords back up just so we can see, and now go ahead and play that. Boom, we've got our automation control for the modulation slider without having the need for a MIDI controller to be hooked up. So if you don't have one or you don't wanna hook yours up, boom, there you go, that's how to do it inside of Ableton Live. And of course, like I said, just jump into your MIDI controls inside of any professional DAW will have them and you'll find your modulation parameter and that's what you wanna automate inside of the MIDI clip itself. Anyway, I hope you learned something. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique, Two Minute Tuesdays, and I'll see you in the next video.